Hello and welcome to video four. Now, I wanna acknowledge you for going through a video series. Not many people have the awareness or the intuition or the passion to go through a video series and start to realize how much their perception of money and their feelings around money have such an internal component to it. And this is what you're discovering here. So I thought in the last video, what I'd do is I'd sum up everything in terms of what this means about your life and what you can specifically do in your situation to help you not only feel internally more abundant, but to also create that external abundance as well and create the results you want to see around money, around business, around whatever it is that you want to create. So I've created a bit of a model here of a step-by-step -step formula that you can go through so that whenever you're stuck, whenever you don't know what to do, you have this to refer to. So the first step I really identify and really encourage people to do is to catch the feeling. So many people aren't aware what they're feeling throughout the day. But if you go through and you pay attention to your body, you can start catching the emotions of fear, doubt, and frustration. You can start being more and more aware of it. And then clearly, once you start to be aware of it and recognize what you're going through, step number two, is to really start to connect with yourself. Instead of avoiding, instead of resisting, instead of reacting to those emotions, you can start to realize the opportunity in feeling them fully. This is connecting with yourself because every fear that comes up in you is just a side of you that you haven't loved unconditionally yet. It's just a side of you that is still believing a story of your limitation. And that's what's coming up to be felt. So whether you do this through meditation or just sitting there for five minutes and allowing and welcoming that loving space for that emotion to be there and that side of you, this is really the process of, of really connecting with yourself. And once you've connected with yourself, step three is to start to resolve those conflicts, like right? conflict resolution. You start to resolve those internal conflicts that say, this isn't something about my external circumstances. This emotion has everything to do with my internal patterns, right? My beliefs, my internal stories, and the sides of me that have a belief about who I need to be and what I need to do in order to be enough. So when you connect with yourself and you start to resolve those internal conflicts, you start to connect with yourself and love all those sides of you. Love all those sides of you that are the five-year-old that just needs to be seen and just needs to be heard and just needs to be loved. And what you may find is that the more you connect with yourself, the more you resolve these internal conflicts, it leads to more creativity, right? It leads to the creativity where you start having insights, start having passionate ideas, and where it's just flowing, right? Where it's just flowing like you're the apple tree, where it doesn't matter what's happening externally in terms of results, you just keep producing apples because that's who you're being. You access such a creativity and a resourceful space where content's flowing out of you, business ideas, business partnerships, right? ideas of how to get more income, more passive income, and it just seems so effortless. This is what you tap into when you start to resolve the internal conflicts first, and you start to realize that everything that you wanted from an external circumstance or an external result can be felt and experienced, first of all, internally. And then once you start to access all the creativity, all the inspiration, all the passion, this is where it leads to courage. This is when you start listening more to your body and more to your heart and you start paying attention to what you can be pulled towards rather than just being pushing in terms of what I need to create or need to do in order to create a result. You're being pulled now by more of your heart and it feels more aligned. It may still feel scary in the mind, but it feels right in the body. And you have more courage now to be able to go in that alignment where things just feel natural and easy and in flow. And what you may find as soon as you start going around this, as soon as you start going around the circle and around the cycle, all you're doing is just de demonstrating the courage to take more action and feel more feelings. And therefore you just go around the cycle and you start to break down all of the stories, all of the doubts, all of the frustrations, and you start to break down everything you thought you needed to be in order to be enough. And when you do that, 
and you continue the cycle, you continue going around to more passionate, right? You take, you catch more feelings. You catch more feelings where you're able to connect more with yourself. As you're able to connect more with yourself, you're able to feel more passionate, feel more alive because you're resolving those internal conflicts. Therefore comes more courage and then more feelings come up. And you're just breaking down all of those stories of how you think you should or shouldn't be. And you can start to finally become aware and aligned with who you really are. And what you may find with this, with this process, is that you are bigger than any problem. Who you are is bigger than any problem. And when you realize that, you can start to see that you are infinite possibility. You are infinite possibility. All you are is just infinite love, unconditional love, unconditional love for yourself and others. And from that place, you will find that not only will you achieve the goals that you're after externally, but you'll just be doing it as a byproduct. You've become such a big space of safety for other people that now your goals start to chase you. Your goals will now start to chase you because you're just in natural alignment and you're just being who you're meant to be instead of trying to be someone that you think you need to be in order to be enough. You feel so fulfilled internally that the success externally is just a byproduct of who you're being. So I congratulate you for doing this work. It is courageous stuff and I admire anyone who's willing to sit down and observe their thoughts and observe the feelings that come up and be willing to feel the uncomfortable emotions in order so they can serve at a different level. So my invitation to you is to reach out, reach out to me. If you're doing this work, I love to talk to you. I love to see how we can collaborate, see how we can connect, see who I can send your way that may help with this journey that you're on. And if we can find ways to collectively collaborate and contribute to each other, then we can just expand the work we're doing together, expand this work and this amazing shift that we're doing internally so that we can just contribute to the world in a different manner. That's my invitation to you, just simply to reach out and say hi, share the work with me, and let's see how we can work together. But I truly wanna acknowledge the fact that not many people are doing this and you are separate from everyone else because of that. And because you're separate from, you're separating from your old story, you're able to step into who you're meant to be. So I look forward to hearing your results, hearing your journey, hearing what's happening internally, and I congratulate you once again. Take care now.